Now we want to welcome uh, Jeremy Mudik to the studio. I, I was practicing that beforehand too, <laughs> and okay. I apologize. <laughs> you are an exercise biomechanics coach, but so much more. So talk yes. about the fact that you were sort of more of a traditional trainer, mm -hmm. and you've expanded beyond that. Yes. So it all started out with, I think, what the traditional way of exercise is, and that's just to build muscle. Right. And I was a very thin kid my entire life, and a lot of bullying, I would say, every year. And so getting enough muscle mass to where I would not be bullied, to where I could stop the bullying from happening to another. And that was my initial intent. And so the more I dove into that, the more I started to feel empowered within myself and how much just building muscle can do for us and building confidence. And so this is when I started to go into, I want to be a trainer. And I want to be able to instill that in others. And how can I do that? So I went down the road of that, just being a regular trainer at first. And then I started to recognize, and I know you guys talk a lot about this, and that's trauma. And I started to realize that you can't just build muscle and expect the body and the mind to grow and change as a whole because we're like this, the most advanced plant system within ourselves. So we have to nourish the soil in order for us to really grow. So you can't just build all these big muscles and expect that all this to be connected and to feel good and to pursue your best life or present your best self. And so after a couple of years of being just a regular traditional coach and training people how to lift weights, I started to recognize all the faults in myself and I started to take ownership of my own life and realize that there's a whole lot more to this than just exercise. So then I started going down the line of human emotion and how it's tied into connective tissue and how those things dictate lines of pull in the body and how typically the depressed person might have a collapsed rib cage or the computer desk person, but a lot of that does come from the same emotions. It's the excessive amount of stress that pulls our body and our tissues into these positions and it locks them in. So how do we unlock that? That's an emotional thing. That's a, that's a mentality that needs to be unlocked within us. It's not just a muscle building thing. And so once I started to unlock that, that's when it was, everything else kind of took off. I love that. That's going into real biomechanics and how the body mm -hmm. functions and how it works with emotions as well. Correct. And I love the fact that, you know, well, I love the fact where you've transitioned, you know, your life and your career because mm -hmm. of your own lived experience through being bullied as a child, which is obviously mm -hmm. a lot of trauma and a traumatic experience, especially with body dysmorphia, right? right? If you felt that you were too skinny or too scrawny, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And so um, the interesting thing is though, a lot of people do, even current day, they hit the gym for the aesthetic, mm -hmm. right? Thinking that, oh, if I just hit this certain weight, I'm gonna be happy. Right. But guess what happens? They hit that certain weight and guess what? They're not happy. Right. And so they're constantly getting bigger. And sometimes I will look at guys at the gym, it's called bigorexia. Mm -hmm. And you know, these are oftentimes guys who will always see themselves as skinny and society looks at them, we look at them and like, how much bigger are you gonna get? Right. You know? Because <laughs> they've never done the work to fix the mind. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's the important work that you're doing. Thank you, yes. So how do you work with your clients in a way that's different? So I would say the first thing I do right off the bat, and I think it's one of the most overlooked aspects of all health, and that's teaching someone how to breathe. So I make every single person, no matter what the case is, if they're coming to fix a shoulder, a spinal rotation, it doesn't matter what it is, lie on the ground, teach you how to breathe, and to relax into your own body. So learning to connect to the deepest roots of who you are and your existence and those beliefs, that's what's gonna allow change to take place. So I start with the breath, and then after that it comes down to how do we get the body to position itself into a neutral position? So if it can't stand neutral or if there is pain and discomfort and it's pulling in some direction or another, then we go into the line of myofascial release. I'm sure you guys have probably rolled out on a foam roller or something. Yeah, yes. So uh, that's basically what that is, but we go deeper into the deeper layers of fascia where the actual tension is being held. So think of like that surrounding layer is just the subcutaneous layer. That's, that's just allowing for fluid flow to move through the tissues, and it has a lot of the proprioceptors connected through there with our brain connection. So it's the deeper layers that are really holding on. So if you say, my hamstring's tight, it's not that it's really tight, it's more something else is pulling it in the wrong direction. So that means that something else is overactive. So when we start to identify and figure out what's going on in the body, we use myofascial release techniques of like a lacrosse ball or something aggressive like a PVC pipe, and breathing through those after I teach you how to breathe, that way you're able to either release some form of trauma or stuck energetic flow. And that way it's able to move freely through the body. And then we reassess the breath again. And it works 100% of the time, 10 of the time where someone instantly can breathe better and they feel more at ease and the stress has started to lower. I, I'm fascinated by your approach. It is Thank truly you. a mind-body approach. Mm -hmm. And you, you started owning by owning a traditional gym. Correct. Yeah. And now you've expanded into this healing and recovery center. Tell yes. us how that 
is working out? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's amazing for one, because the, the impact has been, uh, for one, timing was perfect. We started all this at the very beginning of all the lockdowns, what, two years ago. And so we've been officially open for about a year and a half now. And um, when it came to what I was already doing with fitness and addressing everyone and trying to basically lead them back to themselves, right? To find their inner truth, whatever that may be for them. So reconnect mind body is what it's called. And what we do is our, our main attraction, as you will, is, is an ice bath. And that's, so that changed my life. The Wim Hof method. The Wim Hof method. Wim Hof changed my life. Yeah. And after meeting him and sharing my story with him and, and, and realizing how important that, that was to get out and get the message out there to where there's so much more to this than meets the eye in, in a way that we are so powerful on every aspect that we can heal every aspect of our being. Once I was able to unlock that within myself, I said, this has to be given to the people. And so it was my own practice at home in my backyard. And then um, once the lockdowns happened, a vision came through to open this place. And I said, okay, and it started literally the next day. And so now we walk everyone through breath work meditation and a full guided experience with ice bath, saunas, red light therapy, and everything that can help, again, lead someone back to themselves. What have you found to be the most joyful yeah. about this space? Uh, it is one thing to be a trainer and help people get strong, and there's, mm -hmm. obviously there's value in that, a lot Correct. of it. But you've, you've expanded beyond that in a mm -hmm. more soulful way. Mm. Yes. How has that impacted you? Impacted me by feeling more fulfilled, and it's allowed my life to find more peace. I've always had a life of service to giving to others, and I've always wanted to better others, even though I never really bettered myself. And then once I was able to take ownership of that, my company motto is, you are the cause, you are the cure, mm -hmm. for the exact reason of that. Once, once I, can, I can take ownership of my own life, I'm able to truly be free. And at this, at this point, if I can get others to do the same, they can find that inner peace within themselves, and we can, we can eliminate that reactive state. And this is where we take back control, and we learn to recognize stress as it's happening. This way, our biomechanics and in movement, our bodies can be more free of all the resistance that is built. Yeah, I love it. I I'm love sure the work you're, you're, you're home, you, you go home with your cup filled all the time. <laughs> yeah. I, I try to. people's lives. And it's your, constant work, of course. Your website, course. for those who want to go and check it out, is reconnecttolife.com. It's the reconnect life. The com. reconnect life. I'll learn how to write by the end of this statement. The <laughs> reconnect life. That's okay. com. Just look at your screen right just now. All the judge. information you need is on the screen right now. Do not listen to Carrie. He's like, I come on. You don't say my name right. Get it all wrong. We did wrong. But fortunately, Jeremy, you are a peaceful person. Yeah. So you forgive me, and I thank you Already for that. Forgiven.